Today, we're going to be discussing inequalities. What is an inequality? Well, the definition of an inequality is a mathematical sentence that contains a less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to symbol. Let's create a chart to make things a little bit easier. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw, you're gonna break up your chart into four parts. And I'm gonna draw a line like this. Your chart doesn't need to be huge. Um, and we're just going to draw each of the symbols so we know exactly what they mean. So this symbol is less than, or you can also describe it as is fewer than. Make my lines a little longer here. Then you have this symbol, which means greater than is more than or exceeds. It's a very fancy word. We also have this less than symbol with a line under it. If it has a line under it, it means is less than or equal to. And there's also a couple more definitions. You can also describe this as is no more than or and even is at most. And then our last symbol is the greater than symbol with a line under it. And this means is greater than or equal to is no less than and then is at least. And I'm giving you all of these definitions because in case you see them, you'll, you'll have a little bit of a cheat sheet here to kind of help you along. So I want, let's do some practice. Your, your directions are write an up here. Write an inequality for each sentence. Okay, so those are my definitions. We're going to do a couple of examples. So in example one, I want you to write an inequality for Your speed is less than 45 miles per hour. So when it tells, when it gives you something like this, like your speed, how, how do I designate what my speed is? I don't know exactly what my speed is. So I'm going to use a variable. I'm just gonna use S for speed because it could be anything, but I do know it is less than 45. So what is my symbol for less than? Here it is, less than 45 miles an hour. Boom. Okay, example two. Your height is greater than 40 inches. So let's 
use the variable h for height. You could pick anything you want, but I'm going to go with h. And then which symbol is for greater than? Here it is. So greater than 40. Perfect. Example three. We'll do one more. Your earnings are greater than or equal to $100. So I'm gonna pick variable E for earnings, greater than or equal to. So this one's less than or equal to, and this one, so this one is greater than or equal to. So greater than or equal to $100. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and flip the page. Sometimes you will be asked to graph inequalities because we can, so I'm gonna label this graph inequalities. We can draw inequalities on a number line and the graph helps you visualize the values that make the inequality true. So what does this mean? Okay, so I'm just gonna jump in and do an example here. So example one of graphing inequalities. If I have x is greater than four, I'm gonna draw a number line like this. I'm gonna draw a straight line, and I'm going to put four in the middle here, and I'm gonna do my best to make my little tick marks here evenly spread out. So I don't want one line here and then the next line way over here. I want them to be evenly spread out. So my number line here is two, three, four, five, and six because I want four. I want to include four. Since it is a greater than symbol, I'm going to use an open circle, meaning whatever x, whatever the value of x is, it does not include four in my graph. Since X is greater than four, I'm gonna draw an arrow pointing towards all the numbers greater than four. Okay, so example two. If I have X is less than or equal to three, okay, so I'm gonna draw this here. Again, I'm gonna evenly space out my numbers, two, three, and four. Notice how I have an equal sign here. If I have a line underneath my inequality, I'm going to graph it with a closed circle, meaning whatever value x is, it's going to include the three. So I'm gonna draw an arrow pointing towards all the numbers that are less than three. Okay, so in example three, I'm gonna actually draw a number line for you. We're gonna go backwards. You tell me what the inequality is. So if I draw a number line like this, and I have negative four, negative three, negative two, closed circle with the line pointing to the left. What do you think my inequality is? Okay, so I'm gonna pick a variable, x, does my, does my answer include negative three? Yes, because it's a closed circle. So I know that I'm gonna have a line under it. And this means the arrow is pointing this way, so it's gonna be all the numbers less than negative three. So less than negative three. There you go. I hope this video helps you understand inequalities a little bit better.